Hello, and welcome to part 66 of Let's Play Danganronpa. When we left off, Nagi was, Nagi said, that's wrong, or you're wrong, or whatever the fuck his catchphrase is. <laughs> I've forgotten. I forget things a lot. But anyway, you said that MOs were identical, but is that really true? Dot. Blank. Blank again. Blank for blank, blank, blank for blank. Blank. Alright, so, um, let's see what all of those blanks and dots were then, shall we? I actually think there are some differences between Genocide of Show's mur past murders and Fujisaki's murders. Huh? Like what? Just tusk, you can't tell. Quiet in the peanut gallery. I'll tell you what he's talking about. When I do it, I do it with passion and conviction. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you kidding me? Alright, folks. I'm just going to quickly, um... Fuck around doing this until this fixes itself. There we go. So, as any artisan would be, I'm very particular about how I go about my craft. I'm particularly... In particular, the same way that a renowned Raymond shop is particular about its broth and noodles and toppings. But Chihiro Fujisaki's murder? It's like if that shop started selling packs of instant Raymond. This is most certainly not my work. Allow me to try that again. There are two major differences between Fujisaki's murder and Genocide Show's past murders. The first major difference comes from the victim for photos in the genocide showcase file. In particular, their stomachs and necks. So the, di so the discrepancy is in the handwriting. No, it's the cause of death. The cause of death. All of genocide show's previous victims were killed in exactly the same way. Based on the information in the case file, they were murdered using scissors. On the other hand, Fujisaki died of blunt force trauma to the head. You have a point. Tis indeed a disparity. Weird, isn't it? But a serial killer known for a constant MO would change things up just this once. That's not all. There's one other major discrepancy. If the bloody calling card is the braised pork of my craft, then crucifixion is the boiled egg. Dude, can we... Please drop the Raymond analogy. So, what you're trying to say is that the second inconsistency is, the is in the crucifixion. Right, the second in discrepancy is in the crucifixion. In the genocide of showcase fo fo file photos, the victims had their hands pierced, which means the difference is in what she uses. Who she uses scissors. Do you remember what you what was being used to hang Fujisaki's body? hands were bound to the equipment with cords, which is how her crucifixion was achieved. And what of it? In genocide shows murders, the crucifixions were carried out using extremely sharp scissors. Listen up, I kill and I crucify using my very own handmade genesis. I'm an artisan. I'm picky about my tools. Plus, 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 you said there were only two differences, ma, but that's not right. By ma, do you mean me? Hey, listening, ma, there's one other di one more difference. Huh? What, you didn't notice? There's a certain rule I follow. To choose my victims. A rule? It's easy as pie to see why I wouldn't have killed Babyface if you can think figure out my rule. Um, so in other words, Genocide Show follows a rule when choosing her victims, and Fujisaki doesn't meet her qualifications. From a victim's names, it's pretty safe to assume they have one thing in common that excludes Fujisaki. Oh yeah, I think I've got it. She wouldn't have killed Fujisaki because they were in love, Fujisaki is female, they were friends. Fujisaki is female. Is it because Fujisaki is female? And bingo, what's his name, oh? What do you mean, dude? This is patent to the victims of geno the genocide of show murders. Ken Harada, 32, Tetsuhiro, 
Honda, 17, Gaku Shuji, 23, Isai Kano, 14, Takashi Yoshida, 30, Naratu Komatsu, Teikafumi Guno, Yuji Honda, Osami Tsuji, Naohisi Uchida, Masumune, Takashi, and on and on. I pronounce them terribly, don't I? They're all dudes? Yes, I do it with passion and conviction, but only with flaming hot hunks of men. Ha, ah, I said it. How embarrassing. What the hell? I can't help it. I'm a slasher. I crave the very same hunk on hunk action like Miss Gloomy so reveals. Here, an adult that's steaming hot man slash man. You wouldn't kill Fujisaki because she's female and therefore not hot? That's like a Raymond chef serving you spaghetti. So they've both got noodles. It's still fucked up. It's a line I won't cross because I have passion and conviction. My perfectionism is what makes me me. You've made your tastes and priorities abundantly clear, but we're all, that's all they are. Tastes, priorities. If it can't, all comes down comes crashing down and when you're forced to commit murder in order to survive. Quit your yapping, you sore loser. Sore loser? When I kill, it ain't for some lame-ass reason like saving my own skin. Even if it, there was some situation where I'd kill someone else to save myself, as I wouldn't crucify him or leave, leave no bloody writing. Too much work and a dead giveaway. You have a very good point. Anyway, no matter what the circumstances, my tr trusty genesis is a must-have. Like hell, I'm just going to use some heavy-ass dumbbell. Perchance there were no adequate scissors at hand, so you should su so you substitute them for a nearby dumbbell. Adequate scissors? I don't use just any old adequate scissors. I use my own earth-shakingly fabulous handmade genesis scissors, which are even less likely to find here, dude. Oh, really? You're fully equipped. I'm ready to do it anytime, anywhere. You still think I'd use that rope when dumbbell instead of these babies, which I've got experience with? I wouldn't, now would I, suckers? Anyway, I don't even know how to tie a knot, so I couldn't have used that rope. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Is this serial killer seriously not the killer? But still, what's about what about the crucifixion? That ain't public knowledge. That is the reason we sh decided it wasn't a copycat, but the real genocide show. Hold on a second, there is someone, someone who could have imitated the genocide show's modus operandi. Make an accusation. Obviously, it's this douchebag that I've been accusing all the way through and going, oh yeah, but you read it, so you could have done it too. Oh yeah, you read it, so you could have done it too. I don't really took that long to figure it out. But he'd put her up there. A little bit, um, slow. You could have done it, couldn't you, Togami? You're in a position where you can really can readily access secret government documentations and internal police files. On top of that, you told me you used to spend a lot of time going over the genocide show fake case files. So you're suggesting Master Bahura Togami is the murderer. And Togami's insistence on genocide show being the culprit was because he wanted to blame the place the blame on his crimes on her. So the person who manipulated the scene to make it look like I did it was the goddess man in glasses here? That's hot. What do you have to say to these claims, Togami? I see. So you suspect me. Tell me this. When did you first begin to suspect me? Thinking back on it now, just before we discovered Fujisaki's body, you did something I think was a little peculiar. That change room over there. It's suspicious. Very suspicious. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? Doesn't look like anyone's checked the changing rooms yet. Let's go... Let's look around the women's room first. You could have just been perverted. To be fair, you suggested that we go to the women's changing room first, didn't you, Tagami? But being a guy, 
find out what happens after the da da da, please join me for the next episode, which is on the top right, for the previous episode, on the top left. And until next time, folks, see ya.